Hello everyone, we all know how important sound effects are in video games. And if you think otherwise, well, just watch this footage of Ori and the Blind Forest with and without sound effects. change your mind yet? All these little details and sound effects contribute a lot in the game's overall quality and how the players feel when playing it. So with the intro out of the way, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notifications bell and let's get on with the video. Alright so now we have three buttons right here. These buttons represent different sounds. I'm gonna be playing three sounds and we'll make these sound effects well play. So first of all we have three buttons right here. Each button should play a certain sound. So how do we do this? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an empty game object, I'm going to call it SRC, and I'm going to add an audio source object to this empty game object. So it just has an audio source component. It's literally just an audio source. This is where the sound effects are going to come out from. All right, so it's really easy to program this. We'll just go to canvas or go to wherever your script is located, and I'm going to create a new script. I'm just going to call it sound effects player. All right, so now we have this sound effects player script right here. We have the start function and the update function. Keep them if you want and just program in where you want the sound effects to play. But we're dealing with buttons right here. I'm going to make a public audio source object SRC. I'm going to create another public audio clip object and I'm going to put in SFX1, SFX2 and SFX3. We have three audio clip objects right here. So we have three different a audio clips in our script now you can call them whatever you want in a public void button one i'm gonna copy it and then make a button two script and a button three sorry a button two function and a button three function perfect so when we press button one what do we want to do we want to call the src dot clip equals sfx one perfect and then src dot play Awesome. Now we want to do the same things right here. So copy this, paste this right here, SFX2, SFX3 for the third sound effect. Awesome. So what this will do is let's just go back. So what this will do is that we're going to call the SRC object. So we're going to put the audio source right here. We're going to call it right here. We're going to call this component, the audio source component from the SRC game object. We want to call it and we want to call the SRC dot clip. This is the clip. So when we call it, we call src.clip. What is clip? This is the clip right here, audio clip. All right, awesome. Now we have three different sound effects right here. I just quickly downloaded them from SFXR and I'm going to go back to the script. I'm going to add the SFX1, the SFX2, and then I'm going to put in the SFX3 right here. Perfect. We're just going to select all the buttons and then I'm going to put the canvas to all of them. Now I'm going to go to the first button. I'm going to assign it as button 1, I'm going to assign the second one as button 2, and the third one as button 3. Perfect. Now it should work. Now if we play, if we click on the sound 1, sound 2, and then the sound 3. Perfect, they all work. This was just a quick tutorial. Check out this video where I made a game about milk lasers and the cat that has gravity powers. Don't forget to like and subscribe, or you can also check out this video if you want. Cheers.